What is up everybody, Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video today. I'm gonna to share with you another beer. This is gonna come from Oliver Bruin. It is the Donut Shack Strawberry Shortcake. Here is a look at the can itself, kind of an old school throwback with that look there. And this comes in at 6% ABV. It is conditioned with strawberries and shortcakes and in part with Donut Shack out of a spot here called Saverna Park. So this cream ale was one of their designs and they, I guess, infused it with the strawberries and the shortcakes. Oliver Bruin is located here in Maryland as well. So it's one of the breweries I'm finding out more and more things about. And you'll probably see more beers from them as I go through uh, sharing some of the stuff they're doing. So I have had this one, I've got two cans of it. I had one back on one of the Toss One Back Thursday shows, but I hadn't done a full in depth review. So I'm gonna do that now with this. The other one was kind of like we were drinking as we were going. So let's crack it open and get this into a glass. Crack, crack, crack. Ah, that lovely sound of a new beer being opened. Get a nice little pour here. All right, so into the glass we go. Got a decent enough head on there. We have a deeper orange amber color to the beer itself it looks a little bit more illuminated when i have it up there in front of the computer screen and the light hits it down to about a finger of head now so it is dissipating rather quickly the head itself is slightly off white almost like an eggshell type white color do have some carbonation streaming Let's see if i can get it up here in front of the camera and maybe you can pick up some of that carbonation down in between my fingers, you can see some of the bubble action and play down there. So it has a little bit of a haze on it, but it does have some of the uh, carbonation there streaming up. Aroma-wise, you, you pick up the aroma rather easily. You do get that strawberry shortcake type feel on the nose. There's that sweetness to it, but it also has a tartness behind it. Kind of lending itself to be a little bit more on the sour side. But it comes out. Decent enough, you're not having to sniff really too hard to get out of the glass. Really hits the nose nicely. Taste wise, you definitely get the cream ale type feel to it. A little bit kind of reminiscent of like a cream type soda. You have that little bit of a sweetness there in that regard. It's got a Interesting splash in the mouth of the flavor. You get a little bit of a lingering of after effect of a strawberry and cream type uh, dessert. Carbonation is definitely tempered up. You get a lot of prickling on the tongue when you hold it there. Light to medium body, not overly heavy. That sweetness starting to come in a little bit more from the strawberry and the cream. I don't know if I would want to go through maybe a four pack of these if I had a four pack, just because I feel like, that, I feel like the sweetness would catch up to you at a certain point. But to break up the routine is be something different. If you're a fan of like strawberry type desserts, you'll probably enjoy this a little bit more than I do. I don't usually get into those type of treats as far as like the strawberry and um, you know whipped cream type stuff and strawberry like with a pies or whatever. I'm not a huge strawberry person. Once in a while I might have like regular just fresh strawberries, but not really into the strawberry pastries as much. But it does have that feel of the dessert. It does have some thinness to it, so you do have a little bit of watery qu uh, quality with it as well. But you know what? If it's like a warmer type weather situation you're in, an event you're at, this could be one that you can kind of maybe enjoy a little bit more because you want something that's going to break the heat a little bit but not weigh you down. So again, in that regard, it could be a possible fit. But it's a... Uh, it's different. It's uh, definitely a cream ale. You definitely, like I said, you definitely get the feel of that being there. Um, the finish on it is nice. Uh, it doesn't leave any lingering, like, bad type effects or anything on those lines. It's pretty solid overall for what you would expect on it. Donut Shack, Strawberry Shortcake, Oliver Bruin. If you've had it, let me know what you thought of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. But it is something different, and that's what craft beer is about. It's trying some different things, and... Uh, Find the stuff you like that's out there, some stuff you may not like, but that's okay too. It's all about experimenting and have fun. Thanks for checking out this video. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time to get your beer on and remember, drink beer. Live hoppily. Cheers, everybody.